we are going to play Why Dead with the Yamaha a 12 volt feeling here <laughs> plug and we're thinking this cowling here it's showtime <laughs> There's one torx here with these bolts. There's what clear plastic washers and factory fitted by Kawasaki. Don't lose them because it stops this bolt from digging into the paint. The two, look. Yeah, one at the bottom. So there's one, yeah. one that melts in that, yeah. goes in the bottom. This one goes in there, yeah. and then the screw holds it in the yeah. So I just, what I did was pulled it that way. And there's the thing that powers this baby. Okay. It's a prop position sensor, very important. Do not interfere with it. For a 650, this is an incredible bike. I'll be careful with these because these divots try and crack the fucking pain in your pain. I pulled it, once the screw is removed, I pulled it out. Yeah. And then up, which released this panel. And our intention is to put the Hella DIN plug in this section so that when you're washing the bike, all the water's going to go here or run away from here. And the Hella DIN plug being there will be more stealthy for when uh, we actually end up selling this motorcycle and we don't want to upset the next owner by putting the plug here. Mm. Suits the bike, it looks fast. <laughs> it's got a little arrow saying, get faster. The key holder to take the seat off is right under here to the left hand side. That's own little kind of slot in the plastic. Oh, pull the seat off. We found where we're going to mount the heli din. Hello. Hello, din. This area, and we've had to be pretty good with it because if we go any deeper into the panel, I can't get this in there with the plug. So that's the best place we can do it. And this is the horrible bit. Show you what, yeah, see what we mean and then we can plug it in but then we can't this is the stone but it must be done it must be done no! we did use the vernier gauge before we proceeded the nice thing about doing it this way is it didn't Now we're testing fit. <clears throat> Perfect. Perfect. And then take socket with that nut and fix it into place. Get under it. That is the wire. As this Kawasaki has heat grips, it has a charging port. So the charging port's going to go now, isn't it? Ah, yeah. Yeah, but you can now use the plug as a charging port. Yes. Nice. <laughs> That's the joy. Does this pop off? Yeah. Just to show you guys. Oh, There's a little got plastic yeah, popper, and then it just comes off as one of these. The plastic that rivets like this, just use a plastic tool, push in the centre, and it will just simply pop out.
fix the heli din two separate words at the bottom right in this little corner here it's out of the way you wouldn't see it if you're standing up it's nice and tidy and now I need to fix the cowling fairy whichever back to where it was there's a bolt here and this bolt goes into here as well this is quite a neat little tool it's like a screwdriver so you can turn it really quickly crack on with it Luke's just removing an accessory port here which we don't need anymore on the bike this is the negative terminal is there a limit to how much you can stack these terminals? Yeah, the hands. This is all about feel. That's as tight as I can make it. Next positive terminal. There we go. Nice to have a good clear up inside, isn't it? I mean, Jesus. One charger port and another charger port. No, no, Georgie Ball. <laughs> Jeez. Beautiful. We need to make sure this is working first, don't we? So, the port's here. Okay. Feeling heat. Good test, yeah. Do. Amazing. You need your snap chain more. When you put this onto the tank, you're gonna have spooky ghosts. <laughs> you have this little piece of rubber and you just slide it onto the edge of the tank so it doesn't scratch it. Whoa. I think the ghosts are coming to get us, Dad. What do you think? They're gonna come and attack us in the dark. It's all about angles. Yeah. There you go. Now, what you need to do with these is you need to make sure the center's popped out and then push in the center. Fitted a hella din, two separate words, onto this Kawasaki, and the little port is here. Let's pop it out this into there. Now, if anything, I found with the ER6F, these are supposed to be for BMW, so the plug goes like this up against the tank. This plastic part, I need to get an extension. So that it will reach nice and well without having to push against the tank. Plug it in to the 12 volt there and it acts as a battery charger as well if you're not using your motorcycle for a couple of months. Very cool.
And that is the plug fitted to a Kawasaki. It's ER6F, 2010 model. Ninja. Ninja. The way we... The little rascal has spirit. That's awesome. This is the end of the trail for me. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, kid.